Hey everyone, this is Sapan Sharma here and this video is actually a part of my new course about film in PHP. So I recently added some new lectures to my course and thought of uh, sharing those lectures with you guys as well. So here on YouTube, so if you want to check out my new course then I'll be linking my course in the description below with a coupon code. So go ahead and check that out and along with that, enjoy this video as well. Hey everyone, this is Sapan Sharma here and in this video, we'll be looking at how we can deal with PDF and PDF generation in Filament PHP. So it's kind of similar to working with the Laravel version for uh, working with PDF, but since we are using Filament and most of the logic is abstracted away, so working with these kind of things might be a bit tricky. So for that, I'm going to show you a simple guide about how we can deal with them. So for that, what I will be doing is we'll be using uh, this Laravel invoices package by Laravel daily. So I don't want to deal with the uh, designing the PDF and everything. So for that, I'll be using this dummy package and it already provides us some boilerplate to stream that PDF. So I'll be using this for the demonstration. So let's go ahead and first install this package and then we'll work on it. So in my VS code, I will insert that command. And while that is installing, we have some dummy code in here that we'll be using to generate the PDF. So what do we want to do? So in my students management system, so we'll be working on the student management system that we developed earlier. So for the demonstration, I'll be using this project and on click of the I'm, I'm going to add a button in here that says view uh, download pdf or something and then when we click on it then we'll be rendering that pdf so it will be redirecting the user to the from the controller to the view page so all of that stuff will be working on that so yeah you'll get an idea about how we can work on this so let's go ahead and create a new button for this thing so in my student resource what we can do is okay this thing is lagging a bit so not in the form but in the table so here we have a table so what i want to do is to create some space i am gonna comment this thing out so this address thing is taking a lot of space in here okay not so much but still and i also want to make this thing full width so for that in my filament.php config we have okay so we have a layout config in here and here we have the forms footer max content width okay let's make it to full and let's see how it looks like okay so this takes the max width and i also need to save this thing to comment the address so now it looks a bit better there's some spacing and we'll be adding that button in here so let's go ahead and do that so inside i think it should be inside actions actually so we have one edit action and the, another one is delete actions so what i want to do here is i want to define a new action so just like we have the edit action and delete action we are going to create a new action for downloading the pdf and the type is going to be filament tables actions action and the function is make and let's call it download pdf and okay not pfd actually pdf and the icon is gonna be hero icon document download and this shouldn't be handler but we are gonna define a new link component and where do we wanna go in here from here so let's define a new function so we'll get that student record and okay we can actually use this thing so we need to import this i think okay it's already imported so we want to go to pdf dot download and let's prefix this thing with student dot pdf dot download because you might have other sections in which you can also download the pdf so it's a good thing to prefix them so student dot pdf dot download is going to be the route name and we are passing this record from here so this looks good and I also want to open this thing in a new tab. So we have a function called open URL in new tab. So that looks good. And I think we can also pass in some conditions. So boolean or closure conditions. So depending on some conditions as well. 
you can apply these properties so this looks good so let's go ahead and our web.php and we don't have anything in here okay let's define a new page or route so it's gonna be a red get route and we are gonna get that record and let's call it pdf slash download and instead of returning a view what we are gonna do is app HTTP controller student controller class pdf okay instead of doing that what we can do is we can define a new controller so let's create a new controller called download pdf controller and that looks good so we can call that class from here so download pdf controller class and we can call the function as download and let's also give it a name of student dot pdf dot download okay so this looks good and let's go ahead to our download pdf controller and create that function so it's going to be download and we will receive that record as a parameter so let's go ahead and dd this thing and check whether this thing is working or not so in our students table we have that download pdf so this should go to student.pdf.download which in turn goes to this link and then we should see this value so let's go ahead and click that okay we don't have anything in here this thing is not working so action make download pdf link do we have any issues route student.pdf.download okay i think instead of link we need to pass in okay it also has a link but this link is something else so for that we can change this thing to url so let's go ahead and reload so now as you can see okay we don't have that yet okay we do have that so this thing is now working so we get the id and then pdf okay just pdf okay we forgot the download thing in here so now we have that uh, record and it also opens up in a new tab so this thing is now working so now what we can do is we can actually process all the pdf related stuff in this controller itself so you can populate the data get the record and then uh, use any whatever package you want to use like uh, the dom pdf or anything and then either download it or display it in the browser itself so for that what i'm going to do is i'll just copy this code and paste that here and also i'm also going to import these controllers from our package let's go ahead and save that and now we have some dummy data so we are generating that pdf and then streaming that in the browser itself so let's save that and let's go ahead and try this thing out so let's click on download pdf and okay this thing is now working so that's the general idea about dealing with pdf in filament php so i just wanted to give you a brief overview of how we can deal with this thing so here we you have the custom code whatever you want to do and then deal with the pdf so you can also do one thing so whenever we click on some link then you can create or define a new custom view page and there we can display the data and ultimately what we do is we actually download the pdf so we let the user to download the pre processed pdf so you can do do that with this method so that's it for this video and in the next one we will be working on dealing with qr codes so that's also something uh, that was asked to me from by someone so i'll be so we'll be working on that in the next video so i'll see you guys in the next one